Hey guys, so welcome to today's episode. Today we are exploring the roadmap for Flutter developer. So if you are a beginner or started learning Flutter, then I must recommend you to watch the entire video to understand the, all the topics in the Flutter development. And if you are already Flutter developer, then you can skip this video as you are already familiar with all the things. So let's start the video. First chapter is introduction. So what is Flutter? So Flutter is an open source framework created by Google in May 2017. So it allows users to create an application for different platforms from a single code base. Means writing a single code, you can develop an application for mobile, desktop or web application. The current version of the Flutter is 3.7.10. So to learn the Flutter development, first you have to learn the Dart language. So if you are from the programming background or if you know the Java language, then it is very easy to learn the Dart language because both follow the same OOPS concept. So first you have to learn the basic of Dart, like how variables work, how Flutter works and all the things. After learning that, you have to learn the widgets in the Flutter. So, Everything you see in the Flutter application is widget. There are main two types of widgets used in the Flutter application. Stateful widget and stateless widget. So you must have to learn which widget when you have to use. After learning that, once you are confident with the UI, you have to learn the API calls or database. So there will be some case where you have to fetch some data from the cloud or you have to store some data locally, then you have to use the API call or database. So for API calls, we have some amazing package like HTTP, Dio, Retrofit and many more. And to implementing a local database, we have a SQLite and Hive. Other than that, we can use the Firebase also for storing some real-time database. So next thing is state management. So after building an application, it is very important to learn the state management. So from my perspective, there are three most useful state management packages are there. Uh, first is provider that we mostly use for the smaller level application. Then next is GetX uh, that we use for the medium scale type of application. GetX is very friendly to the beginners because it provides a various amount of shortcuts like for navigating from one screen to another screen. If you have to call the snake bar, you can directly call using the get dot, something like that. So it is very yeah beginner friendly. And third one is block. Block generally used for the large scale application uh, because uh, we have to write a lot of boilerplate code for implementing the block structure and it will separate the UI and business logic. So it is very important for the large scale application. After that, you have to learn the third, part, third party integration. So there will be some case where you have to add some functionality like authenticate the user, uh, chatting with the user, or you have to send some notification to the user, right? So for all this functionality, we can uh, integrate the third party. So that is most uh, common third party like Firebase than payment gateway, like using the Stripe or GPA or something like that. Then we have we can uh, use the one signal to send the push notification to our Flutter application. After learning all this thing, a very complex and crucial part will come. That is a asynchronous programming. So let me tell you, Flutter is a single thread programming language, but there is a Dart Isolate. Dart Isolate will provide the functionality to achieve a multi-threaded programming in the Flutter application. So it is very important to learn the concept of Dart Isolate, streams, future, how a sync and await will work in your application. It is must to know like things. So that was the Flutter developer roadmap. By following this roadmap, you will be able to learn the necessary skills and technology to become a master in Flutter developer. But remember, learning to code is a journey. It will take time, dedication to master any skill. So don't be discouraged if you encounter any difficulty along the ways. 
and if you have any question or comment feel free to leave them in the comment section or you can drop a mail to me and if you find this video helpful please share and like the video and subscribe the channel thank you so much for the watching happy coding